Yo, what's up guys? This is Rise and welcome to another video. We have some Spring Cup action coming at you and a submission from Jaden93. Jaden93 is running Pelipper, Tentacruel, and Roserade. Roserade, probably the most unique pick on this team and is access to the very hard hitting move Leaf Storm. Similar to Overheat, this move packs an incredible amount of power and will debuff your Pokemon's attack by two stages when used. We'll see if he can land a few Leaf Storms on the way to some victories. And off we go. Jaden93 in the Go Battle League. Welcome to the Rise to the Occasion universe. <laughs> and um, here we immediately see Roserade into a counter swap into the Lantern. This is where I don't love Roserade myself because in a matchup where like it should hard punish, right? You kind of have to rely on landing this Leaf Storm. So it's not the most comfortable situation of all time. But we'll see how this plays out. Okay. Lands the Leaf Storm through the shields. Also, like, if you're the Lantern user, right, you don't want to get caught shielding a Weather Ball bait. So that's also another point to be made. Roserade looking mean. Looking tough. Connects on the Weather Ball. And uh, able to take out a Pokemon and a half, essentially. Going to come in with Tentacruel. Since you might not be as inclined to have to shield a move. Yeah, I can actually let it go. Could be a Shadow Ball, and it is. That's going to hurt. What's in the back? It is a Lorantis. Oh, poor little Lorantis. Wait, what move is this Lorantis running? Was that like Leafage or something? What move? Yeah, I think that's Leafage. And uh, usually you see Lorantis running Fury Cutter, but this one opting for that Leafage fast move. Very confident win to start things off. Jaden93 trying to gain some momentum in his Go Battle League season. Pelly into Empoleon. The Pelican versus the Penguin. Who would win in real life in a fight, a Pelican or a Penguin? I mean, a Pelican could probably just avoid it, to be honest, right? How is the Penguin gonna, gonna inflict damage to the Pelican? I don't know. But going for the Hurricane! And it grabs a shield. Nice shield by the opponent. Looks like we're going to see a shield in return from Jaden. Because he feels like he can reach another hurricane here. And, oh, gets it off against a Trevenant. There's no way they don't shield this, right? There's no way, right? Okay, they shielded. Comes in with Roserade. Trev will get to a Shadow Ball first here. So, you kind of have to respect it. If it, okay, it's a Seed Bomb. You can afford to over farm a little bit here. I love the over farm here from Jaden. Oh, and catches a move onto Tentacruel. Very nicely done. Saves all that energy. Saves all that energy from the Rosary, which could be extremely useful. We do see Trev get to a third seed bomb here. So this will inflict some more damage to Tentacruel, leaving it quite low. But you've got you've got little health, but you've got all the energy in the world. That um oh also I forgot he's running Blizzard. I forgot he's running Blizzard. Gets the acid spray off. Just needs to make sure they don't catch the weather ball. And is being very patient. Eventually is willing to throw it. Because the Empoleon is still kind of healthy, right? Or am I misremembering? Empoleon's still kind of healthy, but not healthy enough to survive a leaf storm from the Roserade. And that is a GG Roserade. Putting on a clinic. Putting on an absolute clinic. I love the patience there from Jaden as well. Understanding that the Razor Leafs were double resisted. Not very threatening. Had a lot of patience to build up energy there before eventually throwing. Pelly into Tentacruel. Bit of a neutral matchup. Bit of an awkward matchup. I think Squidward might have gone just straight for Acid Spray here. It seemed kind of fast. Acid Spray going to debuff Pelipper. Just going to go for the Hurricane. I would expect a dip out of here potentially. And that's exactly what we're going to see into his own Tentacruel. Going to be able to absorb anything opposing Tentacruel can dish out here. Acid Spray. Going to leave the defense debuffed. And then we see the Pharaoh Thorn come in. This is a little concerning. Oh, baby. This is probably going to land. There's no reason for them to shield. Incoming Blizzard. Big damage. Unfortunately, it's not same type attack bonus. So Pharaoh Thorn actually took it on the chin pretty well. Because this Tentacruel is debuff, Power Whip. Oh, they go for Thunder. Interesting. I feel like Power Whip might have been enough because of the Acid Spray. It would have been close. Now we're going to see Pelipper force to shield up a Power Whip. You're down a shield now. That opposing Tentacruel still has a decent chunk of health. So this looks like a bit of a tricky situation. 
Weather Ball knocks out Pharaoh. What's going to come in? It is... Oh, Tentacruel's a lot lower than I remembered. Oh, because they ate... They ate the Hurricane. That's right. Gonna let this go. And you just gotta commit to fast moves. Opponent still has both their shields. Is there any way you can jab down before they get to double Weather Ball? I think you can. And honestly, because they're running Bullet Seed and there's no fast move pressure... Might even be able to live a weather ball anyway. But great recognition from Jaden going for the fast move down. No reason for him to throw his weather ball there with two shields still in play for the opponent. Well done. Who's next? Intro Tree. Interesting name. Pelly into G Weezy. Galarian Weezing. What a funny looking Pokemon. What a funny looking Pokemon. Not to be mean, but you know, it's all fun. You can, I think you can tease Pokemon. I think they can handle it. Pelipper grabs a shield from the Weather Ball. Weezing going to fire back. Another brutal swing. Both of these Pokemon very spammy. And oh, baby, high risk, high reward. Pelipper going for the Hurricane, knocks out the Weezing. And in comes Empoleon. I, I like the decision here from Jaden, just staying in, because you chip this. Okay, no, now going to flip, not going to dish out. I guess didn't want to give the big steel wing down there. I was going to say, as long as you chip it, then Tentacruel can absorb everything, but this is kind of awkward now, especially since you don't have Scald. Especially since you don't have Scald. I think he's really hoping the opponent swaps out at some point, but they're not. So this is really awkward now. This is where you miss a, a little bit not having Scald. Yikes, dude. They call the Acid Spray. Gonna have to just pretty much sacrifice the Tentacruel here. And this is still a tough Poison Jab down. Oh, but they swapped out. So you're ahead. You are ahead. And it's a Bullet Seed Roserade again. Interesting that we keep seeing Bullet Seed. Now, oh, a beautiful catch. Beautiful catch. Beautiful understanding that the opponent kind of has to throw immediately to get off their weather ball and now has all this energy probably can just go straight leaf storm gonna go for the bait i forget how much energy this empoleon has successful bait oh dude i'm tripping i'm tripping it's well within weather ball range i'm talking i'm over here talking about leaf storm jaden's like yo rise you might have had a little too much of what that wheezing was on just kidding that was a pg-13 joke i'm personally not into any of that stuff just saying, just for the record. I was just making a joke, okay? Jeez, Louise, calm down. Jaden 93 versus Cowboy. Any Cowboys watching? Speaking of Cowboys, I went to the uh, stockyards today over in Fort Worth. It was a lot of fun. Got to see the cattle walk. Some big cattle walking through the streets. Texas is pretty cool, pretty neat. Pelipper into Tentacruel. Lands the Hurricane, dude. They are not wanting to shield the Hurricane in a catch. From Jaden onto his own Tentacruel. Very nicely done. Catches the Blizzard. In comes Trevenant. And you should live a Seed Bomb from this range. Probably not going to reach the Blizzard. So we'll have to settle. Right, let's see. Yeah. Going to have to settle for Acid Spray. I can't imagine that Trevenant shields. But you leave it debuffed. So now you get the Wing Attack down. Gonna actually elect to throw the Weather Ball rather than have to commit a shield of his own. Weather Ball grabs the shield from Trev. Are we gonna see a shield? No, gonna put it all on Roserade. Saving the shield advantage for Roserade to try and close out this game. Roserade. Up energy, up a shield. The opposing Tentacruel very low. Oh, gives a full jab down. Oh, and it's their own Roserade. It is their own Roserade, and after these poison jabs chip away, Weather Ball should be enough to knock out. Let's see. It might be close. Super effective. Weather Ball coming through. Knocks out the opposing Roserade. It was a shiny one, too. Shinies, not always going to beat the non-shiny. Sometimes those rough and tough non-shinies, you know, they're not anything special they're not gonna showboat they're just gonna work hard just gonna get the job done those non-shiny pokemon 
And a very impressive first set there. On to the next one. Pelly into Polyrath. Definitely favorable for Pelipper, but like not the worst matchup in the world for Polyrath because it takes a while to get to Hurricane. So it's not like you're just dominated here. You can make this a little bit uncomfortable for Pelly, especially if you successfully shield a Hurricane. Hurricane coming through. Let's see what the opponent decides to do there. We've seen multiple go through unshielded. This one gets shielded. I'm actually going to see a pivot into Tentacruel. Polyrath staying in for a, quite some time. Eventually, the swap into Pharaoh. All of a sudden, though, with Blizzard, dude, this might not be so comfortable. Blizzard coming through. Boom, big damage. Big neutral damage to Pharaoh Thorn. And all of a sudden, can Tentacruel flip this match? I'm probably going to go for the Acid Spray after one, I would think. Oh, just going to go for it right away. I feel like you might as well throw it after one, right? But going to go for it right away. No shield. Pharaoh does get to the move. Just going to let this go. Feels like Squidward did his job. Power Whip connects. And you always want to save shields for Roserade when possible. Polyrath has a move. So yeah, it makes sense. They come in to throw their Icy. And once again, going to put it all in the back of Roserade. Is it another Roserade in the back? Is there any way? Ooh, they do get off a Parting Icy. So this is a little bit tough because now your last Pokemon is debuffed. But you do have an energy lead. You do have an energy lead. Ooh, it's a Pelipper. Needs this to connect. This is the only win con. Needs this to connect. Leaf Storm. Boom! Connects through a shield. And the opponent is kicking themselves. And I know some people in the comments like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the opponent threw that game by not shielding. Well, Delilah, if they shield the Weather Ball, which it easily could have been a bait, that would have lost them the game too. So it was a tough call and a high level play from Jaden here to make that risky, risky call going straight for it. Gonna go for the weather ball immediately against Obama. Wants to just chip it, I guess, with consistent weather ball damage. And the opponent threw at five, right? So just a weather ball. Interesting. Ooh, hard swap and lantern. Um, not sure I understand this play. If this is if Jaden's doing this on purpose or hmm. if this is a misclick or if he's doing this on purpose, I'm not sure. Comes in with Tentacruel rather than the Roserade against this Lantern. And Lantern's gonna be able to win this matchup unless unless Jaden's willing to invest two shields here. Another acid spray coming through. Chunks away at Lantern and just gonna let this go. So Loses a shield in this process, but is going to be able to jab down and get a head start with Rose. And it's a Whisk Cash in back. This is where, once again, Roserade as a grass type is not ideal. Because you have to land that hard-hitting and high-energy Leaf Storm to really do anything to that Whisk Cash. Probably needs them to shield to have a chance here. But they don't shield. And I mean, with two shields for Whiskash to hide behind, I feel like Whiskash just wins, right? I feel like Whiskash just wins. But maybe I'm tripping. Gonna shield up the first move here, and it is a Mud Bomb. Roserade should probably live one, but I don't think there's any way you can, like, double bait and still get to a Leaf Storm. So I think it's just over. I think it's just over. Sometimes I'm like trying to figure out, wait, does he win this somehow? I don't think so. I don't think so. Here, I mean, you might as well go for the Leaf Storm as like the Hail Mary win condition. Because the only thing worse would be if they like somehow, if they for some reason no shielded and you're like, if I just went for it. Because even with the shield, right, you don't get off another weather ball. So G to the G. The team finally goes down after a miraculous run. Jaden 93. We'll try to get back onto the winning track. Tough lead. Going to be forced to say swap Tentacruel into a Lantern. This is not a good situation. I would have liked to see him throw the Acid Spray first before allowing the Thunderbolt just to delay the switch timer, but this isn't the worst thing in the world. Tentacruel going to deliver the Acid Spray. Opponent then swaps into their own Roserade. And uh, going to go for another Acid Spray. Is there any way you get a shield if they're afraid of Scald here? No shield. Now, can you flip this? No. <laughs> Not going to try and flip it. 
I think you gotta... Oh, they undercharge. Wait a sec. Is that gonna cost them? Oh! Okay. Actually, really smart by the opponent, because now you give you give less farm to this Pelipper. Or Roserade, if that comes in. Let's see. What's Jaden going to do? Pelipper, does he somehow win this game? Are they, like, double weak to Rose? They must be. They must be double weak to Rose. Oh, they are. Okay. Trev. Suddenly, win con seems possible. Oh, and they take it. Dude. Opponent, why are we taking it? What are we doing here? You got a shield now. You get the final shield. Rose is almost in surf range. Oh, wait, what? Oh, calls the seed bomb. Oh, my God. And now they probably shield this because they're like, nothing from Pelipper is going to hurt me. They shield this, and now the hurricane is going to do a lot. Now you go for the hurricane. Calls the surf. Dude, Jaden, calm down, bro. Jaden's saying, I got this, Rise. Let me cook. Pelipper's flapping away. He's feeling good. And Jaden pulls this win from his behind. What a crazy game. I feel like he had no business winning that game and somehow pulled out a win con, called some baits. And uh, that was pretty wild. That was pretty wild. Not sure how he pulled that one out. And I just watched it. Pelipper into Empoleon. Shadow Empoleon. Shadow and pulling out a little bit more oppressive. But two weather balls will pretty much knock out. Oh, oh my. Going straight for the hurricane. Jeez, Jaden. You absolute savage. Lands the hurricane, catches onto Tentacruel. I'm not sure if it was a catch or if the opponent just elected to throw their drill peck here. Because they had about one fast move to react. They're just going to throw both of their drill pecks, so probably wasn't really a catch. Chunks away at Tentacruel. And they're going to come in with Pelipper. Oh, do you get there? Going to just safely go for the Acid Spray rather than risk the opponent um, throwing Weather Ball first, I guess. Opponent has a debuffed Pelipper. You probably have to come in with your own, right? You come in with your own. Lose the charge attack priority. That's unfortunate. Do we see the respect? No respect to the Hurricane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And once again, this is going to come down to whether Rose has a good matchup here, which it does. Which it does. Going for the weather ball bait. Dude, <laughs> Rose is such a bait game, dude. Oh, man. Gets the successful bait. Now do you just go straight Leaf Storm, to be honest? You can probably just get the double Leaf Storm before they get to three surfs. Yeah. Oh, going to bait again. I don't know if this bait is necessary. But going for the bait. Weather Ball gets the second bait, and now it's just so over. Gets to the Leaf Storm, isn't even debuffed, and boom, big time damage. That would knock out a Lantern from pretty much full health, I would think. So from that range, going to be easy peasy. Well played. I think one or two more battles from Jaden93. And here we go. Peller. <laughs> Pelipper into Whiskash. I like got caught between saying Pelly and Pelipper, and I was like Peller. That was kind of weird. Okay, Squidward into Obama Snow. Tentacruel is gonna like this matchup. A nice catch onto the Weather Ball as well, and uh, I think he will survive an Energy Ball anyway. So really, no reason to shield, but gonna preserve some health. So that makes sense as well. That is a reason, I would say. Tentacruel awaiting the Pokemon to greet it. It's going to be a Whiskash, and uh-oh. I do not anticipate them to shield the Blizzard. Some heavy neutral damage incoming. Well over half health. Whiskash over farming a lot. Tentacruel is tanky. Is there any way it lives this Mud Bomb to get off the Acid Spray? No, it doesn't live. I think you gotta come in with Pelly to absorb this damage. Which is ironic, right? You have a grass type in the back, but you gotta come with Pelly. You wall the damage from this Whiskash as opposed to Roserade would hit for neutral. I wouldn't I would have liked to see maybe just the instant weather ball and then swap. But I guess this is fine. 
I guess wants to force Trev to expend energy before going Rose. Maybe we eventually see a potential seed bomb catch. No, gonna just stay. And gonna take the seed bomb. And now you jab down and there's no way Trev can bait and then still reach Shadow Ball. So they kind of just have to go for it here. They go for the Shadow Ball. Whiskash is gonna faint to one fast move. And that is a G to the G, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that ends the run. That was a nine and one run from Mr. Jaden93. Some very fun battles featuring Leaf Storm, Roserade, as well as Pelipper and Tentacruel. Thank you very much, my man, for the submission. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button for me. Comment down below. All comments help out the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. All that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.